Why, thank you alongside Cheryl Pounder, Jeff O'Neill, and Darren Drager. Man, what a difference a few days makes. Before <laughs> Tuesday's game, Leaf fans and this panel were praising this team in all aspects of their game for the way they started their season. Two losses and being outscored 11-3 to later, they're getting booed off the ice. What went so wrong this week? This was supposed to be the response game after what happened in Columbus. It was Craig Berube's old team. And they were supposed to return to their winning ways and dominant hockey, doing the simple things that Craig Berube wanted. And they just never got close to that game. That game that they played at the beginning of the season has gone up in smoke. And this goal right here is indicative of what they've been doing the last two games. Jake McCabe had the puck and had all the time in the world to put it on the net. He decided to wait and wait and wait and give it to William Nylander to try to make a play just inside their blue line. It goes down the ice and you see the goaltender again. Regardless of what guy's been in the net, it was no shot for the goaltender to save it. Barube is such a cool customer and so, you know he would never admit that this was such a big night for him but you know it was against his former team and he, he was clearly angry Drake's he was and uh, mostly angry at the lack of defensive detail and you know that accountability was directed mostly at his captain Austin Matthews it was the 3-1 goal I think that would be most disturbing because Oliver Ekman Larson score, uh, scores, so Toronto has momentum. Then St. Louis wins the battle in the corner. Austin Matthews isn't strong enough, and there's the message delivered by the head coach. We need to be better. So that was an absolute turning point and a buzzkill for the Maple Leafs who seemed like they were back on track. Yeah, hindsight's 2020 as well, but you wonder if Stolarz, the way he played against Tampa and the way the team played against Maybe. Columbus might have been the better choice and Wool waits for another game or two. But either way, the power play is also a major issue. Seventh in the NHL last season. Then remember the series against Boston. They go one for 21. Well, they've started this season three for 27. 11%. How does that much talent go 11% on the power play? Yeah, and that's the big question right now because there really haven't been any adjustments made to the power play. And I know sitting up here just watching the game, you're wondering when that is going to happen. Maybe PP2 starting, just getting something going. Listen, your power play has to create momentum. It cannot take it away. And it has to be a catalyst to your five-on-five -five game when you're struggling to get offense. And right, this is just cute. They're in setup, but those cross-scene plays just getting redirected. They're not working the high ice at all. So no shot or point shot from the top which is going to draw coverage outside of the middle of the ice but again you have to have motion you have to find ways to get in and you have to take what's given a couple of times where they did have opportunity they took what was given right off the rush so it's about acknowledging finding ways to get to the pockets but you got to wonder when the changes are going to be made so they can start to see a, an I increase in those numbers mm -hmm. pp2 is not starting i'll yeah. tell you that right yeah. now but it might be time to pull the trigger on maybe possibly hurting somebody's feelings I, I, yes. you just can't can't continue to roll that unit out there and have them doing what they're doing. Mm -hmm. They've just gotten away from simple fundamentals. Yeah. It's not that complicated on the power play. You've got an immense amount of skill out there. Find the open man and try to come up with that opportunity. They're skating, they're holding on to the puck. It's just not in sync right yeah. now. And this promising start where they suddenly looked like a team that could play playoff hockey is now yeah. four and four mediocrity and a couple of tough road games ahead.